Welcome to Data Science and AI Weekly. This is episode 13 of this amazing podcast series that we have been doing. My name is Manav. I'm the Chief Data Science Mentor at Inset. And in episode 13, we have a super interesting topic that a lot of you have been asking for long. Which companies are hiring for data scientists and what kind of roles are available, right? And what's the difference between the various companies which are hiring for data science roles? So there are essentially four kind of companies that are currently recruiting for data scientists out there. The first kind of companies are your big product companies. These are companies like Microsoft, the usual big tech product companies like Microsoft, Google, Facebook, Amazon. So these are companies which understand data science really well, which have been the front runners in this space and which are essentially looking for the top notch talent in the space and they pay pay really well. They have very well established data science practices and you as a data scientist, you would enjoy working in these companies, not only because of the brand, but because of the kind of work that you will be doing. So the first category is what I call big tech product companies, right? So that's the first kind of companies that are recruiting for data scientists. Cracking the data science roles in these companies is usually requires you to not be only good in your core data science skills, but these companies will also test you really, really deeply with your problem solving skills. So it is not only if you're applying for a data science role, you're going to be interviewed on machine learning, but a lot of the interviews will be focused on problem solving. How do you uh, solve a problem? How do you look at breaking down a problem? It can be also some basic computer science related data structure related questions as well. So depending on the company that you are applying for, depending on the role, interviews would also differ. So this was the first type of companies, big product tech companies. The second kind of companies is where a lot of openings also are in India specifically. These are your IT services companies. All of the IT services companies, big IT services companies, which employ lakhs of people like TCS, Infosys, Wipro, HCL, Capgemini, all of these companies are looking to build something that you must be aware about if you're hearing, if you work in one of these companies, which is digital practices they are moving towards serving client on digital platforms and data science and machine learning is one of the key part of strategies for these companies so what you would want to do if you're looking to crack these companies is that if you come from one of these companies itself transitioning for you into a data science roles in these companies would be much 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 easier in fact i highly recommend you to do that because Transitioning internally is usually the easiest thing to do. So if you are working in Infosys and you are working in testing and Infosys currently has data science openings and if you think that you're capable enough and you have some connections internally, trust me, transitioning is much, much easier than what you might think. It requires some bit of connection, some bit of networking and obviously some bit of data science, uh, good data science skills as well. That, That goes without saying. So this is the second type of companies, which are your IT services companies. Now, the third kind of companies is a companies which possibly we do not associate data science with, but are also recruiting for a lot of data scientists. These are what we call non-tech companies. These are your banks like uh, JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, ICICI Bank, Citibank, these are your retail firms these are your oil and gas companies these companies these are your aviation companies these are your fmcg companies so every industry healthcare pharma every industry that you can think of right now is looking for data scientists and if you belong to one of these companies trust me transitioning internally is usually the easiest thing to do and transitioning in this same industry and vertical also is easier to do so this is the third kind of companies here the requirement is not as much as the first kind of companies big tech product companies that i spoke about but it is reasonably good skills you need to have almost at par with what is required in it services and sometimes maybe a little more so this is the third kind of companies which are currently recruiting which is non-tech companies The fourth kind of companies are your startups. Given the fact that today India is hub to a lot of, lot of 
very very fast growing startups are making amazing impact on the country and for doing amazing work for their users startups right now are recruiting for data scientists but the kind of startups that you would ideally want to target should be startups which are at least which have 500 or 200 plus employees because if you are looking at entering a startup at a little less than that size they might not have predefined data science problems or they might not even require data science at that level so you can apply essentially what i say is you can apply data science only when there is a certain amount of data that you have so at a level of 200 people or 100 people company usually has some historical data company usually have some sense of whether they need you for what kind of job they would want you to accomplish and this is another fantastic role for those of for those of you who hate working in big established bureaucratic multinational companies and who would want to grow fast with a startup which is growing uh, like a rocket ship but here you as i said you need to be more flexible because a lot of times the problem statements might not be clear a lot of times you might be the first data science that the company is hiring and the company might itself not be clear very clear it might be part partially clear but might not be might not have a very long term view of what data science can do for you so it's fantastic for you if you are a person who can lead who can show the way who can deliver roi and who can essentially show the startup that if they have to go from 200 to 500 and 500 to 1000 uh, people how what what all ways can you help them at various stages whether it in terms of inventory management revenue management operations people and a lot of other areas as well so that is the fourth category which is the startups uh, so these are the four big categories depending on where you currently working and depending on where you want to target and depending on where you think is achievable you would want to start with the lowest hanging fruit what i always recommend student is don't go for the most difficult positions because they will not come easily go for the lowest hanging fruit crack those roles first get into data science for one or two years then think about the next transition that you would want to do so this was episode 13 of data science and ai weekly uh, my goal here was to help you see which companies are recruiting for data science scientists right now and i hope that now you would have more clarity about the segments of companies i hope you love this episode if you did just leave a comment in the comment section and if you want me to cover a particular topic that you think that i should be covering leave a comment in the chat window i'll definitely try to pick up a topic soon so this is manav from inset and i look forward to seeing you tune in to another episode thank you for tuning in to this episode of data science it's an ai weekly i'm signing off now